Hi, I'm James. I'm the route setting manager here at the Climbing Lab. Uh, we put this short video together just to explain a little bit about the new ice block comp that we're running this winter, a little bit about the point system and how the scoring system works. So there'll be 25 red problems set all around the centre. Uh, they'll all be tagged up with the ice block starting tags with a little number on, uh, which will correlate to a number on your scorecard. There'll be starting tags on the start holes, there'll be a zone tag on the zone hold somewhere in the middle of the climb. And you've got to start the climb by starting with two hands on the starting holds and finish the climb with two hands on the last hold. Climbs have four different scores that are available to them. The first and best one is a flash, that gets you 10 points. So that means that you climb from the bottom of the climb to the top in the first go that you've ever tried it. Remember, even just pulling on to the climb counts as an attempt. So make sure you've got a plan before you pull on and don't just jump on it. You score eight points if you manage the climb at any time in the first session that you tried that problem. Um, so you can do that at any time during the round. That doesn't have to be your first session in the actual round, it just needs to be the first session that you climb that problem. Uh, so you can do it as many times as you want, as long as you do it before you leave that day, you score eight points. You score six points if you do the climb at any time just during the round. So you can have as many goes as you want, you can have 500 goes, you can have you know, over 20 sessions if you're really keen. You'll still score those six points if you eventually manage to climb it clean from the bottom to the top in one effort. You get two points for a zone. So the zone hold is tagged on every problem with a little zone tag and you'll get two points if you get to that. So if you just can't get to the top of the problem, you can't make the whole problem, you'll still get two points for a zone but only if you've only got that part. So if you do manage to get to the top at some point during the rounds, that session or any subsequent session, um, you'll then just get the points for the top and you won't get the points for the zone anymore. So at the end of the round, uh, once you've tried all the problems, you've done all the problems you think you can do, fill out your scorecard, make sure you've filled out all the boxes so your name legibly, which category you're in, which round it is, and add up your total score at the bottom. But once you've done all that, hand it into one of the guys at reception or just a staff member who's floating around, and that's the end of your round. I hope you enjoy the comp, good luck trying it. Uh, if you've got any questions, just, just come and ask a member of staff, um, and we'll try our best to help you out. Uh, have fun and good luck.